everybody. I'm here to answer the question that was recently asked on social media. Congratulations to Super Video Heli, Jean-Baptiste, Gerard, Christelle and Atim. You all got the answer right. In a Robinson helicopter, the clutch light comes on when the clutch actuator circuit is on, either engaging or disengaging the clutch. During the starter procedure, we start the engine without driving the rotor blades. Once the engine is running, we engage the clutch with this big red switch. The clutch actuator is going to tension the V-belt, which will start driving the rotor blades. This process takes about 90 seconds in a Robinson R22. During the flight, the V-belts warm up and slacken a bit. So it's normal for the clutch actuator to tension them again automatically. It is important for the pilot to know when this is happening so that he can monitor the process and make sure that if there is a malfunction, the belts do not tighten up too much. During flight, when the clutch light comes on, the procedure is to start counting seconds. If the light does not go out before 10 seconds, you need to stop the actuator tensioning the belts by pulling the clutch circuit breaker and then land as soon as practical. If there are other indications of drive system failure, for example, strange vibrations and noise, land immediately and be prepared to enter auto rotation if necessary. Mm -hmm.